probably the next thing to talk about, so in the verses. It's this little offbeat guitar. It's sort of syncopated, it's not really offbeat. It's like a syncopated guitar rhythm. So there's three mics on the guitar. Um, there's a DI, a dynamic and a ribbon, which is obviously all on the same, on the same amp. So I'm not actually using the DI, um, but it's always handy when you're recording. If, especially if you're not like 100% sure you're going to stick with the sound, it's good to have a DI of guitar and, and bass because you can always then reamp with a slightly different sound. You can change the you can change the amp, you can change the guitar effects pedal. The first thing I did actually once we were allowed to have people back in the studio here was an album with Kelly from Block Party, and that was pretty much all him and guitar. Um, and yeah, we DI'd everything. And then occasionally we'd spin it back out through amps to reamp with a slightly different sound. Even if it was just to thicken the sound that's already there, but it was quite invaluable having that. But here we've just used the, especially for the verses, this main verse sound, we've kept the guitar quite mono and central. We haven't tried to sort of artificially widen it. So we've got the drums, we've got their, their stereo image, and as we'll see, we've got, we've got some keyboards that are quite stereo. I think we wanted to keep the guitar pretty much there, but with a little bit of a little bit of reverb. So dry. So that's like super dry sound. Then this is the first thing to go on them because we wanted to make them sound almost like an old sample. Grit them up a bit. It will sound like they're coming off an old soul record or something. So they're, they're going through the RC20 retro colour, which is brilliant at what it does. Um, they're grunging things up and adding a bit of vintage sound things. There's like a little bit of little bit of vinyl crackle, a little bit of wow and flutter, and a little bit of uh, harmonic distortion, and a little bit of like tapiness to it just to all modulate it slightly and just mess it up a little bit, not be too clean. And then we're using the, uh, well, it's called Galaxy, but it's obviously um, a Space Echo uh, simulation from UAD. And we've got some of the spring reverb from that. And that's all also sort of mono and central. And this is what's really adding in, is the, the Sound Toys Decapitator is really saturating it and making it clip. It's clipping and it's clipping the reverb as well. And then just being held in a little bit by the... Um, just having the sort of peaks held in by the multiband. So that's the, that's the verse guitar. Let me load that in with everything else. So, where you can sort of see it's um, the mix compressor is still on at the moment, but it's starting to sound more like an it's starting to sound like an old record. It's got that sort of '60s groove feel, but with the modern low end added into it. Then the next guitar, it's a similar thing. We've got, we've got the DI, which we're not using. And then we've got um, the dynamic and a ribbon. And this is the, this is the main chorus guitar, oh, which is doing a very similar part, really. Except we've added more spring reverb in. And here we're compressing it as a whole a bit more, because it's going to punch through in the chorus. There's more. So when you listen, so this has got a, this is a little bit more open, and then it's, and then it's but now with the details brought up a bit more with that little bit more compression. So it's a similar, similar chain, but it's just driving a touch more. 